we are going to study that how we can determine the mathematical model of a system using the nodal method. To study this nodal method, let us take an example of a mechanical system and for this mechanical system, we will determine the mathematical model using the nodal method. So this is the representation of a mechanical translational system. And for this system, we have to convert, find out the mathematical model using the nodal method. So first we will convert this diagram into the nodal diagram okay so in this system we have b1 k1 and m1 attached to this rigid support this is a rigid support and b1 k1 and m1 they are all under the influence of this displacement x1 because they are connected to this rigid support so this displacement x1 will influence these three elements damper mass and the spring so b1 k1 and m1 they are under the influence of this displacement x1 Similarly, this mass M2, it will be under the influence of this displacement X2. So M2 will be under the influence of X2. Now these two elements B2 and K2, they are connected between the x1 and x2 so they will be affected by or they will be under the influence of the difference of these displacement x2 and x1 so b2 and k2 are under the influence of the difference difference of the displacements that is x2 minus x1 this mass m2 is not under the influence also this mass m2 and m1 both these masses they are not under the influence of this difference because mass is not affected by the difference of the displacements only the damper and the spring they are affected so this b2 and k2 they are under the influence of x2 minus x1 so they will be connected in parallel between these two nodes x1 and x2 b1 and k1 they will be connected in parallel with the node x1 okay and uh, m1 is connected between this x1 node and the rigid support and m2 it is connected to the node x2 and this rigid support so to find out the nodal diagram of this 
of this mechanical system let us take what are the steps which we have to follow the first step is indicate one node for each of the displacement in this example which we have taken here we have two nodes we have two displacements x1 and x2 so we will have two nodes x1 x2 for each of these displacement so we are having two nodes x1 and x2 for each of the displacements in step 2 draw a reference line this reference line will denote this rigid support okay so this rigid support it is represented in the nodal diagram as a reference line okay next in step 3 represent the elements m b and k as they are present in the system okay now represent these elements here we have m1 which is connected between the node x1 and the reference line b1 k1 they are also these three elements they will be connected in parallel and between x1 and x2 we will connect b2 and k2 in parallel combination and uh, x2 and the reference line we will have this mass m2 and f okay so in step 3 represent all the elements connect them between the nodes okay now step 4 in step 4 you have connected all the elements you have represented them so this will complete the nodal diagram so for this example which is we have taken for this example if we draw the nodal diagram what it will be we will indicate one node for each displacement so we have two nodes this is x1 and this is x2 in step 2 we will draw a reference line so it is our reference line okay now in step 3 we have to represent the elements m b and k so we have said that the elements m1 b1 and k1 they are connected between the node x1 and the reference line so we are first we will connect these three elements this is our spring then we have our mass and it is the representation of a damper Okay. so damper is b1 this is m1 and it is k1 so we have represented these elements now between x1 and x2 we have the parallel combination of the damper and the spring so here we are having b2 and this is k2 okay and the mass m2 and the external force they will be connected between the node x2 and the reference line so this completes the nodal diagram for this mechanical system so in this way we can convert uh, the representation of a mechanical system and we can represent it in the form of a nodal diagram now how we can determine the nodal equations or the 
So if we want to derive the mathematical model from this uh, nodal diagram, how we can do this? Let us first write the nodal equations. Nodal equations means we will write the equation for the node x1 and the x2. And these nodal equations will give us the mathematical model of the mechanical system. So now write the equations. The first equation will be for this external force F. So this external force F will be equals to this M2 B2X2 by DT square. This we have already studied that how we are writing this d2x2 by dt square that how we can represent a mass element. So this is the equation for this mass element because it is under the influence of the displacement x2 only. So we are writing x2 here. Now the spring k2 because k2 is connected between these two nodes so it will be influenced or it will be affected by both these displacement so we will write here k2 x2 minus x1 now again we have this damper b2 b2 will also be affected by both these displacements x1 and x2 so here we will write dx2 by dt minus dx1 by dt so it is our first equation which is at node x1 sorry x2 we have written this equation for the node x2 now we will write the equation for this node x1 So at this node x1, the forces due to these three elements, it will be equals to 0. Okay. So we will write here m1 because it is influenced by this displacement x1 only. So we will write here d2x1 by dt square. Then we have the damper b1 and this damper, it is affected by this displacement only so we will have dx1 by dt plus we have this spring k1 so we will have k1 x1 plus these two will also have an effect on this node because on this node all the forces on it will be equals to zero so we will write the equation for all them b2 will be in this case, we will write x1 minus x2 because at this node, we are considering this displacement x1. So we are getting the difference x1 minus x2. And if we are writing the equation for this node x2, then we will take the difference x2 minus x1. So here we are taking x2 minus x1. Here we are taking x1 minus x2. So B2 will be dx1 minus uh, dt minus dx2 by dt plus we have the k2 so k2 will be x1 minus x2 and all these forces sum of all these forces will be equals to zero at a node so we have written the nodal equations for this system using the nodal method and this is the mathematical model what is mathematical model it is just the mathematical representation of a system so these mathematical equations these equations they are representing the mathematical model of a system So in this way, we can determine the mathematical model of a system using the nodal method. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.